Now here at Golf Monthly, we test a lot of golf clubs and a lot of them are very suitable for high handicappers. Now that's what we're gonna focus on in this video. We're gonna build the ultimate bag for high handicap golfers. Now I've gathered together all of the equipment experts here at Golf Monthly to give you some two or three recommendations on each section of the bag and we're gonna build the ultimate bag for you. So you're gonna hear from Neil Tappin on drivers, Sam Diath on fairways and hybrids, Joel Tabman on irons, and Martin Hopley on wedges and putters. And by the end, I think we're gonna build a pretty comprehensive bag for you high handicap golfers out there. Right, let's get started with drivers. Okay, so I'm gonna kick things off with the driver. And we've seen a whole host of really good models aimed at higher handicap players. There's a, a reasonable amount of research that you'll need to do, but a few that I would call out. So if you are a slower swinger, then I would consider testing something like the Titleist TSR. One, it's a, a lightweight design that should help you generate a little bit more club head speed. If you're fighting a slice, then maybe think about something like the Cobra Aerojet Max. It, not only does it have a draw bias, but it also sits a little bit offset, a little bit closed. So it, it will provide that confidence inspiring look that might help you prevent against hitting too many right. But for me, the one that I would definitely suggest you consider is the Ping G430 SFT. It has that draw bias, but it sits nice and square down behind the ball. It's really forgiving and easy to hit, generous, the, the profile down behind the ball, so it looks easy to hit, but it also offers really good distance. It's a great all-rounder for those who are higher handicappers who are looking for that little bit more help. So when it comes to fairway woods for high handicapper golfers, any of the max versions that are released this year are perfect. But for me personally, I think the Yonex E-Zone Elite 4 is the best offering for high handicappers this year. Now there's a few reasons as to why. The diagonal grooves on the face really do frame the ball well, very easy to align, and it gives it a shallow look at address, really inspiring confidence to be able to hit it high off the deck. The large profile head also offers really high MOI, making it super forgiving on miss hits. And then they offer a premium stock shaft, which is really lightweight, but also flexible and stable, allowing for higher launch, more carry and more speed. And one of the final reasons why this is perfect for a high handicapper is it is designed for an entry level golfer and comes at a slightly cheaper price point than a lot of the premium brands. A trend we've seen in 2023 when it comes to hybrids is the larger profile head. Now, my pick for the best hybrid for high handicappers is the Callaway Paradigm. There's a couple of reasons behind this. It is the largest profile head we saw out of the hybrid range, apart from the X model, which is perfect for those who slice the ball and maybe want a touch more draw bias. But this does have the adjustable hosel, meaning you can tune in certain ball flights or promote a ball flight or fight against a certain ball flight as well. And the central gravity has been lowered so meaning this golf club is really easy to hit high and it's really forgiving on off center hits, which is something high handicappers will really appreciate. So when it comes to a high handicapper choosing a set of irons, I think there are some boxes that need to be ticked. The first would be it needs to be a forgiving golf club. It needs to inspire confidence at address and be really stable when you don't catch it out of the middle. And the second, I think it needs to offer a lot of assistance in launching the ball. I often see high handicappers struggle to get the optimum ball flight that maximizes carry distance. So one that's gonna help launch the ball high, I think is a really important box to tick. And I've got three options here. One that's more of a cost effective option, one that's going to help slow swingers get additional launch, and one that's a really good all-rounder. So starting with that cost-effective option for high handicappers, I think the Wilson Dynapower really stands out here. Um, for the price, you're getting an awful lot of performance. It's really, really long. It helps. It definitely gets the ball up in the air really easily, despite being quite strong in loft. And it's very forgiving as well. I think it looks pretty good as well. There's a lot of shelf appeal on this iron too. Now, if you're a slower swinging golfer and you need a bit more help in getting the ball up in the air, one really good option is the Mizuno um, JPX923 Hot Metal High Launch. It's a bit of a mouthful, but it really does perform for those slower swingers who, you know, with the trend that we're seeing in game improvement irons getting stronger, you know, this kind of goes against that. And I think it's really going to help um, slower swinging golfers get a more playable ball flight and get the ball stopping into greens a bit more quickly. We're also getting the forgiveness off center that you need. This is a very user-friendly iron. It's really going to get the ball up in the air. So that's a really good option, I think, for, for slower swinging high handicappers. But then my best all-rounder, I think, for all-round playability, forgiveness, looks and feel would be the uh, the ping g430 i think this is an excellent iron for forgiveness it's got quite a long blade length you can see how wide the sole is so that means it's going to give you a lot of forgiveness both off center and also through the turf as well that nice wide sole means if you do catch the ground slightly heavy your margin for error is a little bit bigger the feel of this iron is also 
really fantastic. It's got a nice, solid, stable feel to it. And its generous size means it does inspire a lot of confidence at address. That white bottom groove helps you align the face as well. So that would be my best all-round option for high handicap golfers. But I think across these three that I've chosen, there's some really good options there to help you hit longer, more accurate iron shots. And when it comes to wedges, I think if you're a high handicap player, then what you need is a wedge with a little bit of forgiveness. There are models on the market with some peripheral weighting and nice wide sole. And one of the best examples is a Cleveland CBX Full Face 2, which I have here. By having a sort of peripheral weighting on the club, it will match into a cavity back set of irons, which you probably might have, and that's going to stabilize the club through impact. It tends to have a wider sole, which is going to make it a bit more forgiving. And on this particular one, we've got a bit of relief in the heel and toe to give you some little bit of versatility. And then on the face, we've got grooves that cover the entire face. And these are the same grooves that are in the RTX 6, which is a better player's wedge. So you're going to get a lot of grip from that. I think it's very easy to play as well. You don't necessarily need to open and close the face so much because the sole is there to give you that forgiveness. So just stand up square, make a confident swing, and you should get the results to get you out of trouble and get the ball close to the hole. When it comes to putters for high handicap players, I think what you're looking for is a lot of forgiveness. And you get that from these large, high MOI heads with, the, with weights in the corners. Now, there's several models that do this. You've got the PXG range, which has a lot of heads and a good choice of hosels and shafts, which you can put into that to be custom fitted. I think if you want a face with an insert in it, then the Odyssey 11 putter is very good. It's a nice, large, very stable head. And you've also got a choice of alignment lines, whether you want a plain head or a line or, or a triple track uh, marking system, which will get you pointing in the right direction. But for me, I think for this particular category, then I'd recommend the Innesis High MOI putter. It does what it says on the tin. It's a very high MOI head. It's got a nice clean look with a nice, very stable head with weights in the corners. And the face has got a, an insert on it as well. And it gives very good roll. And the key thing is, it's very good value for money. You're probably gonna find this for around about 150 pounds. So if you're in the market for a high MOI putter with a bit of forgiveness, that would be my choice. So there you have it, the ultimate bag for high handicappers. Hopefully that's given you some great ideas of what you can go and test or some recommendations on what to go and try at the driving range. And depending on what part of the bag you're looking to upgrade, I think there's some great equipment there from 2023 that can help you out. Uh, what do you think? Or do you have any questions? Let us know down in the comments. And if you're looking to complete the bag with a golf ball, we've got a comprehensive guide on the best golf balls for high handicappers. I'll put that link down in the description for you to go and check out for yourself. But for now, from Black Bear Golf Club in Florida, thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.